after the two losses to Hopkins and Penn State, not our finest hour, uh, how did the kids embrace some of the changing roles that you brought to the team? Because you brought a lot of them, especially on the offensive side. Yeah, I mean, good point. Not a lot of people have asked that perspective of it. Um, it just says a lot about our group. We did make some changes and um, shuffled the deck a little bit, and uh, guys handled it great. We have a very unselfish group. Um, we've had guys make sacrifices all year. Guys play different positions. Um, and it was always like, whatever you need, coach. Um, and, and that's when you know you got a good group and you know you could have some success because it's always about the guys around them. It's not what they want. Um, and we always tell them in a team setting, rarely does every single guy get what he wants all the time. But the beauty of the team sport is, regardless of good, bad, you have like all these brothers that you'll have for the rest of your life. So if your whole mindset is to do what's best for the guy next to you, they're gonna love you that much more. They're gonna have your back that much more. Um, and if we have success, like you'll enjoy it together. And if we don't do well, you'll be there to back each other up. And that's what this whole thing's about. Talk about your leadership group, your captains and the guys you meet with who kind of like represent the team. How important have they been in this uh, kind of change in the middle of the season? Yeah, you only you only go as far as the leadership in your group. Um, and we have some, some guys that have been around for a long time. Uh, as I've told everybody all year, I love this group. They are just great people to be around. I love them as people. Um, just uh, They just do everything the right way. They're great in the classroom. They're great in the community. They're very selfless. Um, they look out for each other. They stay out of trouble. Um, and so when you have that type of group, it probably is a result of the leadership of the older guys setting a good example, holding guys accountable. Um, and when things aren't going well, and there's always parts of the year where things aren't gonna go well, whether it's on an individual basis or a team basis, like you're relying on those guys to stay the course, reinforce what our culture is, you know, our standards, things like that. Don't take shortcuts, keep everybody on, on board, uh, and just keep the faith. And those guys have done an excellent job of that. Talk about the brilliance of uh, Connor Schellenberger and uh, what he presents. He, he's tremendous. Uh, he was tremendous in high school. Um, he is, uh, you know, arguably the best player in the country. Um, and I, what I would say is, as good a player as he is, and he's outstanding, he's as good a person. He is a fine young man, a guy I respect a lot. I've seen a lot, whether it's, you know, in the recruiting circuit or over the last five years. Uh, high character, plays the right way, great teammate. Uh, you can see he is a tremendous leader for them. Uh, so I'm not surprised he's done so well. Uh, he works incredibly hard. I don't know if people realize how much he invests. That is not by accident. Connor is a really hard worker. When he was up here uh, playing in high school, you know, he would be out on the turf forever shooting. So, you know, he's earned all of the success. Uh, caused us a lot of problems. Um, I'll be happy uh, once he graduates, I'll be rooting for him in the PLL for sure. Uh, and you and Lars, it renewal of uh, your friendship and renewal of the battle that's really taken over lacrosse somewhat in the past five years. Yeah, I think Lars would tell you the same thing. Um, you know, it's really about our teams and our kids. And if we were out there playing, there'd be nobody in the stands because no one would want to watch that, uh, especially at our age. Um, but I think for Lars, uh, a guy I've known forever, um, you know, kind of in the same era coming up through the ranks as young coaches and uh, obviously knew he was going to be a great coach. Uh, he was as an assistant and he's been outstanding as a head coach and obviously they're always in the mix they're always really good they're well coached um, he stayed true to who he is um, he does it his way um, and obviously it's worked everywhere he's been coach best of luck thank you